angle relationships and similar triangles. I have never had anyone do this on a test where they name <laughs> triangles with names like Joe and Harry before, but one day I'm sure it'll happen and I'll laugh. The kid won't get any points, maybe one point, but I'll definitely laugh. Angle relationships and similar triangles. Again, this should be a big review from geometry. We spent a unit or two on similar triangles. Our first definition is ratio. This compares two quantities. The ratio of A to B is A over B or A colon B. Two ratios that have the same simplified form are called equivalent ratios. So an example, if you have um, guys to gals in class, two guys to eight gals, that's the ratio. It would be the same as saying one guy to every four gal. Proportions, an equation that states the two ratios are equal. So pretty much you've got two ratios, you set them equal. How do we solve it, you ask? Well, we use cross multiplication. To solve a proportion, cross multiply the numerator of one side with the denominator of the other side, and again the numerator of the other side, denominator of the other side. Just a little algebra review here. Let's solve these proportions to remember how to do it. On number one, we're going to start by cross multiplying. I like to draw an x in there. And then we just solve the resulting equation. So 2 times 8 was 16. 5 times x was 5x. I divided the 5 over to get my final answer. Problem two, same idea. This time we're going to have a little bit of distribution here whenever we multiply the 4 and the x minus 3. So we'll distribute the 4, and then again, just solve the equation like you would normally. Problem 3, same idea. We're going to have distribution going on with the 14 and the y minus 3. Corresponding parts. Whenever we have two similar triangles, the angle measures are always the same. So both triangles will have the exact same angle measures. The sides, though, are just proportional. So this means um, the ratios are the same. So ratios are equal, and here we're going to be setting up a lot of proportions to solve for a missing side. A similarity statement is a way to, t to denote two triangles are similar. Letters in the same spot are congruent angles. So here's an example. Triangle ABC is similar, that little squiggly, to triangle XYZ. So if I were to draw this, angle A and angle X would be equal, B and Y and C and Z. Let's look at an example. In this example, we're going to name the corresponding angles and the corresponding sides of each pair of triangles. I know that angle C is corresponding to angle P because they have the congruent mark on them. Same thing with B and M, and then left over I have A and N as corresponding as well. For our sides, we're just going to um, kind of look at the angles as well. So side CB is going to be co corresponding to side PM because they have corresponding angles. And then finally, we need to write a similarity statement. So I'm first just going to write down triangle ABC for the first one. I need to be careful how I name my second triangle here. So I'm going to look and see which angle corresponds to angle A. That would be N. So I'm going to put N first. And then look for the angle that corresponds to angle B, which would be M. And then lastly, the angle that corresponds to C, which would be P. In the following examples, we're going to find missing measures of angles and lengths. So in problem one, I have these two triangles is similar, and I first need to find the measure of angle B. B corresponds to angle M because they both have the three congruent marks. Therefore, I know that angle B is 31 degrees. Next, I need to find the measure of angle C. 
Likewise, angle C corresponds to angle P, so I know that C is 104 degrees. Problem two, given the two triangles are similar, find the lengths of the unknown sides. So DEF has two unknown sides. Let's start by, by finding side EF. I'm gonna label that as X. The way we're gonna solve for X is set up a proportion. I know that side X corresponds to the side that's 32 long on, ang on triangle ABC. So I've set up a ratio to show that, X over 32. Now the only other side that we know on triangle DEF is side ED. That side corresponds to side CA on the other triangle. So I can set up another ratio here, 8 over 16. Since the two triangles are similar, these ratios have to be equal. So now I can just cross multiply and solve for x. I find that side EF is 16 units long. Next, let's solve for side DF. I'm going to call that y. So we're going to set up a proportion. DF is, con or is proportional to side AB of the other triangle. So I get y over 24. And then we can use 8 over 16 again, set those equal, and solve the proportion. For our final answer, we get y equals 12. Problem three, given that triangle QRS, which is right here, is similar to triangle URT, which is right here, find the length of segment UR. Okay, we already know part of UR. We know that UQ is nine units long, so really we just need to find how long QR is and then add that on to nine. So let's call segment QR X. Okay, let's start by setting up a proportion here. Let's start with side QR, which is X, and we're gonna put that over the corresponding side here, which is the entire side of UR. The length of UR is what we're trying to find, but for now we can just call it X plus nine. We're gonna set that ratio equal to another ratio using the four and the six on the other side of the triangles. Since our first proportion started with a side from our small triangle, we need to again start with the side from the small triangle on top. So we're gonna put four on top of our next ratio. And then we need to put the whole length of our T on the bottom. Well, four and six add up to make 10. So now you can go ahead, pause your video, solve this cross multiply, make sure in the end that you find the length of UR, the entire length. In the end, we're gonna get UR equals 15. Again, that's because we had to add our X, which was this length, to the nine so that we get the whole side of that triangle. Okay, now I want you to pause your video. I want you to try this problem, work it out, and then check back with me for the answer. In this problem, we're finding the length of AC. We know what BC is, but we need to solve for that little bit, that AB part, before we can get the length of AC. So I'm gonna label that as X. So here we go, setting up our, our proportion. We're gonna have X on top, and then on bottom, we're gonna find the proportional side to AB. So AB is the side of the small triangle. Our proportional side is gonna be AC. So again, we'll have X plus six. The other side, we're gonna use five on top because it's from the same triangle as the X. And then 15 on the bottom because that's the whole length of AD. And our final answer that we get is the length of AC is nine. At a certain time of the day, a tree casts a shadow of 10 feet. At the same time, a seven foot tall man casts a shadow of two feet. How tall is the tree? Whenever we're getting into word problems here, I think it's so important for you to draw pictures. And I don't mean just drawing a triangle. 
Like, I mean, I want to see a tree drawn and a man, whether he's taking a selfie or not, doesn't matter. But I want to see pictures drawn with these objects in them. So here I've labeled my 10 foot shadow for my tree and my seven foot tall man, which is pretty tall and his two foot long shadow. We need to find how tall the tree is, so I'm gonna label that side as X. Now I have two similar triangles, and let me tell you why. First of all, we're gonna assume that the tree is growing straight up and the man is standing straight up. So these are right triangles. So I have 90 degrees in the bottom left of both of my triangles. The other aspect here is the sun. The sun is casting the same angle onto these, the tree and the man, so that this angle up here is the same for both of them. If those two angles are all the same, then we know that this bottom right angle also has to be congruent. So I've got similar triangles going on here. I know that my sides are proportional, so I'm gonna set up a proportion to solve. I'm gonna start with my unknown on the top, and the, that's from the tree triangle over there. The side that corresponds to that X would be the seven foot part of the man's triangle. Likewise, back to the tree triangle, we have 10 foot for the shadow and the corresponding part would be the shadow for the man, which is two feet. Now we're gonna cross multiply and solve for the height of the tree. Make sure that you label your units we get 35 feet. Now it's always a good idea in these word problems to think about whether this makes sense. First of all, the shadow of the tree is longer than the shadow of the man, so we would expect the tree to be taller than the man who is seven feet. So this seems like a reasonable answer to me. 